Hello, my name is Jan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. Um, the paper pack that I'm using today, it comes from DCWB. I'm actually using two pages from here. I did buy this paper stack about two months ago, I want to say, from Michael, so they still should have it. Okay. And the paper I chose today uh, is this um, bluish color. It's shiny. I'm not sure if you could notice that. Um, it looks really nice. It looks like a nice vintage um, style. Uh, the size for this um, is an 11 by 5 8 by 11 and 12. And I'm going to go ahead and back that on a 12 by 12 uh, piece of craft cardstock. I went ahead and inked all my edges with uh, Distress Vintage Photo ink. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down and I'm using my zip dry glue. I'm going to go ahead and center it as much as I can. Okay, that looks good. Next, I have my um, my border pieces, and um, unfortunately, I don't know where this border piece came from. I think it was Little Scraps of Heaven, but it might not be it because I've had it for quite some time. And I didn't use the label my my um, my items. So originally, I was going to cut it. Um, I cut it quite big, but it was um, too big for my piece of um, my layout. So I went ahead and cut it down the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere it on top. And this measures um, two and one fourths by eleven and a half. And this other part, originally I was going to throw it away, but I figured it's a nice piece of scrap. I'll go ahead and place it down the middle. So I'll go ahead and adhere those two things down. And I will bring it to the top. That looks good. Okay. And then here I'll just bring it kind of down the middle. Okay, now I have two more uh, border pieces. Um, this one, I do believe it does come from Little Scraps of Heaven. I'm not too sure, I'll double check. Um, here it's cut at half an inch by 11 and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and place one on top and one down here at the bottom. Now I know they're both pink um, and it doesn't stand out as much, but this is for my daughter and her favorite color is pink, so I think she would be okay with that. She's four. Okay. I can't really see with the camera <laughs> over me. Okay, now for this bottom. Okay, that looks good. Next for my die cuts, my first uh, piece, it's this teacup. Um, uh, this measures um, six and a half 
by three and this is from uh, Miss Kate's Cuttables and I'm gonna go ahead and place it here and I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it to the side uh, oh I forgot my um, my mats so I have two uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and place it down here my photo mats uh, this is the other one um, inside it measure, measures uh, 5 and 1 8 by 4 and 1 4 the outside measures 5 and 1 4 by 4 and a half and this other one on top I'm gonna go ahead and place it here uh, the inside measures 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths the outside measures 5 and a half by 3 and 7 eighths so I'll go ahead and adhere these down And I'm going to go ahead and bring it um, towards the bottom. I will leave just a little bit of, of pink. Okay, so I have my uh, my teacups next. I have my Alice. I went ahead and gave her brown hair because my daughter does have brown hair. And I popped her up on one layer of foam tape just to give her a little bit of dimension. Next, I have a teapot. Originally, I had done a, a bigger one. Uh, I thought if I made it a little bit bigger, you could see it better. But once you actually put it here, it was it was too big. So I went ahead and uh, went back and cut another one using the same paper as this one. And I also popped it up on one layer of foam tape. And I have my, um, I'm sorry, I didn't give you the measurements. Uh, Alice uh, measures Four by four and a half by two and a half. Uh, my my coffee or tea measures uh, two and a half by one and one fourths. And my uh, this one actually measures three inches by three and a half. My teapot. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just make it seem like it's pouring some tea or coffee. Next, I have a little flower. This measures uh, two and a half by two and a half. And also the same thing had happened. I had to cut a bigger one, but it just, it would be too much. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, place it flat here on the edge. Next, I do have a chair. This measures three and a half by two. And this is actually a printing cut as opposed to everything else that I pieced together. And I'm going to go ahead and tilt it to the side Next, I have my Mad Hatter. Uh, he actually measures uh, four inches by two and three fours. Uh, this one comes from Little Scraps of Heaven and all of these come from Miss Kate Cuttables. The only thing I had accidentally forgotten to print his eyes, um, and I was a little bit lazy to go back and just to cut eyes, so instead what I ended up using was my Peachy Keen stamps. This is the PK by PK1540, and I believe I used this one right here for his cute little face. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of bling, and I also popped them up on one layer of foam. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start adhering uh, my die cuts down. It's not sticking. Oh, 
I forgot. That's okay. Okay. And I won't put um, zip try on the handles just because it'll probably go into my mat and I don't want it affecting my pictures when I finally place them. Okay, and this one I'll adhere down flat. I think my chair will be a little bit tricky because it's thin little little pieces. Okay. And lastly my my mat hatter. Okay. Go ahead and there we go. And there you have it. That concludes our layout for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye now.